Hello and welcome back to Zeitgeist Alakami and of course Rimworld. Last time we um, had a small, small situation in which Chewy may or may not have completely lost his mind and gone on a crazy rant about how, you know, the entire world was going to burn down. They were going to hit, be hit with like mortars and things. But you know, that reality never came to be. So we are currently here just living it up in Zeitgeist Alakami, trying our best to, you know, continue our general existence. We just had a solar flare, so all of our electronics are offline, which is not really the best thing ever, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. So, in terms of the colony, for the most part, we're running pretty well. We're basically... We're in the current farming section. Oh, wait, we also need to do some research, don't we? Oh, uh, yeah. It's off because there's no uh, power going to this. That is not the best. So as I was going to say, uh, looking at this entire situation, it um, has occurred to me that we could potentially shore up the defenses a bit more than we have them now. So currently, it seems that when enemies come into our colony, they want to be funneled around walls. So they don't necessarily want to come through like these areas. So they'll, they'll come through these areas, but that's just because they don't have any walls or, like, doors or anything. So now that this is closed off, they shouldn't come up this path. If we close this off with a nice wall across here, I think that should prevent the enemies from coming through this particular area. Of course, we don't have any wood available to us. And we don't have any stone either. We really need to do stone cutting. I think I said that, like, a while ago, but then I did a ton of other researches, which clearly were not stone cutting. Because, I mean, why not? Oh, look at this. A bunch of pine trees. That's going to be great. Do pine trees even grow out here? Maybe we should have considered that before planting a bunch of pine trees. That seems like it would have been a better maneuver, actually. Just thinking about it. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. And that's just how it works. Um, let's see. Potentially, we can set some chop wood orders. I don't know if there's any wood that's actually like, old enough to be chopped out here, that toxic fallout really did kill off basically everything. And I say basically everything, but it it killed off literally everything on the map. It was, it was, it was really bad. It's not something that you want to face on a uh, daily basis. No, that's, that's quite bad. It also killed a fox. I mean, it was our fox. So it's not just a fox. It was like, it was supposed to be a member of our colony. Unfortunately, no such thing has occurred. <laughs> Poor Fox! Had so much hope. Didn't have any hope at all, actually. Um, it was a pretty dumb creature, it has to be said. Uh, so we're gonna cut down those trees. We're potentially gonna get the remainder of this construction done here. And then, um, I think, perchance, an option that we could do... We have a geothermal vent down here, so what we could actually do is... Instead of just building a wall, we'll build a pathway similar to this structure here out to this geothermal vent and set up another geothermal generator because at that point we'll have more than enough power to run basically anything we would want, I would guess. Between the wind turbines and the geothermal generators, we should be perfectly fine. And then we can um, just go on from there. We won't have to deal with any particular uh, power issues. In terms of this hut, I think we're going to change it up a bit. We're going to build a just straight wall here out of wood. I mean, assuming we ever get wood. I guess we can build it out of steel for now just so that it gets done. Do we have any steel? How much steel do we have? I guess that's enough. And it's only five steel, so we'll set that up there. And we'll cut into it this way. And we'll have the door go in through here so we don't have another entry point into any sort of structure in our colony over here which will be perfect um yeah outside of that we just need to wait for some good stone for some good wood cutting which currently apparently nobody wants to do because they think that it's night time and it's time to sleep and all that people come on now let's get to work jeez we don't have all day i mean it is it is like literally like the middle of the night, but I'm still judging them. I'm judging them so hard. So it's currently 10C outside as well. 
Mm. Is it time to turn on the air coolers? Shall we turn off the heaters and turn on the air coolers? Probably not. Probably not. This place is getting actually pretty hot. I mean, the, the target temperature is like 30 degrees Celsius. I feel like maybe that's a bit extreme right now, just saying. Um, is a bit more than we're actually looking for. Are all of these set to a good temperature here? Probably set everything back down to just uh, 21 degrees Celsius so we don't, you know, like explode numerous systems. That would be quite unfortunate. I feel like at some point they're all going to overheat and just like die a terrible death. Which is not a good thing for our colonists. Starvation. Ninja Brody, this chocolate over there, which admittedly is not really the best thing that you should be eating for um, food purposes. We're going to have to hunt something. Um, what presents itself that can be hunted? Not deer. Deer are vicious and terrible creatures that we cannot afford to hunt. There's a fox there. Could get him. Oh, raccoon, tortoise, turkey. Perfect. Um, any form of, like, rats or squirrels or things. Yeah, we'll eat a rat. I am not below eating rats, people. I will do what is necessary for the colony. Thank you very much. We could hunt down a megatherium. We basically wouldn't need any more food after having hunted a megatherium, at least for a while. I mean, I feel like seven people can feed themselves for quite a while off of just a very small quantity of megatheriums. But in the very least, I think... We've got Brody going out hunting an ostrich. Of course, with his longsword, because he just couldn't be asked to use, like, a legitimate weapon to hunt the ostrich. Had to cut it to pieces with a longsword. You know, Brody, I, I really do. I, I understand that. I, I can agree with that. That's... I know what you're trying to do. Ninja, what are you do? Ninja! Stop being a cannibal all the time! Jeez! Ninja is just all about eating people. I can't even believe this guy. What is wrong with him? My word. Bushetto, don't go eat people. Don't do it. Are you literally eating the same corpse that Ninja was eating from? Oh, you people are the worst. You people are the worst. How long until we get some actual crops out here? Oh, it's gonna be a while. We're going to have to rely on hunting for quite a while, unfortunately. I mean, it's what has to be done at this point. It's what has to be done. Um, I think we should be okay, though. If we actually get all of these hunting orders done, we should be well under control. We could set up a hunting party and take down this megatherium. That's probably a good idea. It's only an 8-year-old megatherium, but I feel like an 8-year-old megatherium is better than no megatherium at all. I, I don't know if that's actually true. I don't, I don't know what the actual, like, um, life cycle of a megatherium is. It's hard to tell. Oh, look. It's a bunch of muffalo. Can we hunt muffalo? I mean, they move in packs. Generally, things that move in packs are really dangerous. Animals are kind of ridiculously dangerous in this game. It's really weird. Um, they're not something that you really want to tango with too much. Speaking of, like, food and stuff, are there any, like, berry bushes out here that we can get some berries off of? I always forget that these berry bushes are a thing, but if we could get, you know, some nice resources out of here, could potentially do some good work. Doesn't look like there's many more than just a couple things of berries. Fine, fine. Uh, Ninja has gone berserk, apparently due to a very ugly environment. Well, you're in the middle of a cave, Ninja. I mean, get over it. It's not like it's your house or something. Jeez. Ninja is so high maintenance out here. It is ridiculous. Uh, how much food do we have now? Do we have a good deal of food? We do. I think uh, that's probably not going to last us through to the next harvest. I mean, maybe with these animals we can get enough food for the next harvest. But it's going to be hard to tell, really. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. In the very least, we definitely have enough sources of food. I mean, there's animals showing up all the time out here, so I think we're okay. Um, these forest areas should be pretty good for bringing in some of the wood that we need for further construction, because right now we are quite low on wood. I don't know if you've ever noticed that one, but we are running out of wood. We need more of it. If we can get a good deal more of it, we can do 
oh so much more. I don't actually know what more we'd be able to do, but I'm sure we'd be able to do something. So let's just set up a nice little walkway here. It's going to uh, hook up probably right about here. It's going to be a pretty long one, but I mean, we don't want our enemies getting to our geothermal vents. Especially if they don't have to go through, like, um, opposition from our people. Oh, what is this? A raid? Oh, crossbow organization. You're going to try to sap our positions. Oh, they have incendiary launch. I hate incendiary launchers. Those are the worst. They're terrible. Anyway, everyone, up, 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 up. There are enemies coming to try to sap our defenses. It's going to be bad. They have grenades. Also going to be bad. We'll get Kimmy and Brody are probably going to move into this area just so that, you know, they can potentially flank the opponents. Everyone else is going to move up to the defensive lines here. And, okay. Looks like they're moving in along this line. We should be pretty well off. Um... Hopefully we can hold them back. They do have a lot of explosives. I'm kind of concerned with how uh, packed in everyone is in this position, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll see what we can do. Okay, they're moving in. Kimmy's got the jump on them. Come on, Brody. Go after Tombadil. Tombadil has the grenades. We need to take him down ASAP. Kimmy, please try desperately not to shoot... Brody in the back. That would be terrible. Kimmy's actually dealing with... Ah, don't light Brody on fire. Brody, stop. Oh, he's wandering around because he's been lit on fire. That's really not a good thing. Um, Kimmy's going to try to take... Oh, you can't take cover that way. Uh, melee attack Makar. We're going to send Bachetto in to assist you. Leinster's going to take down Dismas as he comes around. And see if you can't kill Dismas, Brody. Oh, Kimmy is down. That is unfortunate. And now they're running. Oh, they're all running. Get wrecked, crossbow organization. You're done for. Brody, cut off McCard. Don't let him run. Take him down. Nobody escapes us. Nobody. Where were the rest of them? Was there more of these guys? I think there was like two more. Oh. Oh, they're just booking it. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Everyone, very good defense. That was brilliant. I quite appreciate it. Pachetto, if you could uh, rescue Kimmy, that'd be great. Um, and if we can possibly put out these fires, um, maybe before they light everything on fire, that'd be great. Um, Leinster, please. Leinster, there's, there's a fire. Please prioritize putting out the fires, people. I mean, it's not really that big of a risk of, like, taking out our colony or anything, but it is a risk of destroying all the nice things that we just... Like, all of these guys just dropped, which is kind of important to me. I, I do quite appreciate having nice things. And if we can have more nice things rather than less, that'd be amazing. Leinster, try to strip him. Looks like we got a few helmets out of this one, which is always a good thing. Currently, we've gone in with nothing but cloth caps. What is this, people? World War I? Come on, now. You don't just run around in cloth caps. Oh, we got a new survival rifle, too. That is pretty good. Actually, this hall is pretty solid. Oh, thank you very much, all of you people from I don't even know where. Um, what was it? Crossbow organization? You've actually given us a bunch of really nice stuff. I mean, we can't really use the grenades or the incendiary launchers. That's, that's just... That's literally asking for a terrible, terrible mistake to occur. Um, we kind of need to not... Uh, light everything on fire, which is just inevitable with those things. You know what we can use this room for? I was just thinking, we do need a uh, hospital. And we've got hospital beds here. Can we... I think we can just use steel to make these. We need 10 medicine. Do we even have 10 medicine? I don't know. I, I think the hospital beds are pretty good for um, having people recover a lot faster, although I'm not 100% certain what they do. A uh, bed specially designed for injured people improves chances of successful medical work. Okay. So we did get some medicine off of these. We got one. One singular medicine, which I feel like is not enough to build a medical bed. Quite unfortunate. 
in the very least, we can build some standard beds and assign them to be medical use beds. That is a thing that you can do. Basically, when people are injured, they'll come into here and they'll sleep in these beds and rest up instead of like wandering around and getting infected all over the place, which is, as we learned in the alternate dimension, never a good thing. Not in the slightest. So that should work out pretty well for us. Um, we'll have to get some lights in there as well. That is a thing. Uh, guys, I hope I hope you don't mind us getting healed in the darkness. No, not a thing. Not a thing. So that should be a good improvement to the colony, just to make sure that, you know, people don't have to, like Brody, just wallow in their own self-pity in their pathetic little rooms while they heal up. Instead, they can be in an actual legitimate hospital area, which will be great. So in terms of these weapons we've gotten, potentially we can pass out some of these things to people who are quite skilled with them. Looks like Bushetto can go pick up the rifle because he's got some pretty good weapon skills. And I believe there's... Who else has good weapons? Wolf. Wolf is going to take this nice little submachine gun, which is going to be beautiful. And then we've got helmets and stuff. So Brody's probably going to get one of these helmets. Brody and Kimmy. Because they're the, like, close-up, close-range combatants. Which is pretty key in the whole, like, you know, making certain that we don't have our people get absolutely killed. Is to give the frontline combatants some good equipment. So you've got armor vests and things like that. Who needs an armor vest? Does Kimmy have one? She does. And Brody has a personal shield, which is really all that he can use. So Lencer's got an armored vest. I'm going to give Bachetto one because he's got a rifle and that's a pretty good piece of equipment to have well protected. And we'll have... What sort of starvation? Kimmy is starving? Can someone please go, like you know, help Kimmy out. Oh, Kimmy's out here. That's fine. Good for you, Kimmy. While you're out there, can you pick up that Kevlar helmet? That is great. And Brody, is he currently sleeping? No, he's playing pool. Go pick up that military helmet there. Kimmy, get your shotgun. There we go. Oh, Kimmy is now infected. That is uh, not a good thing, actually. That is quite bad. If we can possibly get... Um, Lenster, if you can speed up the construction of that bed, we kind of need to get Kimmy into a hospital bed ASAP. So Kimmy's going to get into that hospital bed probably and just stick there for the remainder of her illness, I hope. Can we possibly assign her to do that? I don't know if that's a thing. But she's only got a minor untreated infection, and so long as we continually treat it, we should be okay. Oh. Michelle Lane Lesson is coming to our colony, which is totally not what her name was, but we're going to go with it anyway. And she appears to have a few things to trade. Let's see what she's got. Let's see. Uh, Chewy, what are you seeing? Oh, we got some medicine. Um, Okay. Looks like we can sell off. She has 189 silver. So we can potentially sell off a nice bit of frag grenade to her, which is going to be great. In the process, we can actually pick up some medicine because Kimmy is in a bit of need of medicine, which is a thing. What are those components? Those were components, and I think we just sold them. We don't actually want to sell those. Thank you very much. We're going to buy some medicine from her. That's perfect. And then she does have three simple meals. I don't think we really want those. We can sell her the incendiary launcher as well because that thing's just way too dangerous for us to actually use in combat. I mean, starting fires is nice and all, but starting fires in our own colony, not really a thing I'm looking forward to. And with that, we should be pretty well under control. Oh, can we buy a survival rifle? Well, we could possibly buy a survival rifle from her. Or a pump-action shotgun, superior. 
I think a survival rifle would be a bit better of a thing to purchase, and we do have the silver to do so. So why don't we just pick that up? We got ourselves a new survival rifle and a bit of medicine, which is perfect. Who's still using a pistol? Looks like it's Ninja and Wolf. Uh, Wolf is using a submachine gun, so it's just Ninja. Ninja's going to equip that survival rifle so that now we're equipped actually pretty well with shotguns, rifles, and a submachine gun, which is perfect. And, of course, Brody going in with his, uh, with his steel longsword. I mean, Brody is just Brody. You, you don't, you don't judge Brody. I mean, he does a really good job at going in and, like, cutting people to pieces, but, I mean, it's kind of outdated strategies at this point. Anyway, for now, that brings us to the end of this episode, wherein we have actually done quite a bit of good for the colony. We've managed to stop a nice raid, and we've gotten a buttload of new equipment that is just going to be perfect for everyone. Oh, nice. Kimmy is now in the medical bed full-time dealing with that infection, which is the ideal situation. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time we will continue in our survival, hopefully finish up the um, actual hospital. And if possible, if a trader comes by, we'll be looking to get a lot more medicine to build a few actual hospital beds in here, which will be perfect. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. And of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.